Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Litecoin. This is a chart that I do not update too often because not too many people are interested, but still I get the regular requests about Litecoin updates. Um, so yeah, let's still take a look at the chart because to be honest, the, the movement here of the low that we had, um, well, the low was made on the 10th of November, 9th of November. We had quite a bit of a move to the upside from around $47 all the way up here to 64 in the peak. So is the low already in the bear market low? At the moment, I can tell you it is at least possible, but this pattern overall that we're doing here, it looks, it is basically a similar wave count that I have on the chart for Ethereum with a bullish wave count. However, the Ethereum chart looks much stronger and much more reliable. So if I had a choice between choosing Ethereum or Litecoin here in terms of the count and the scenario and the trade, for example, a long trade, I personally would choose Ethereum. The reason is that this move of the low here, the low that was made back in June, um, that the movement of the low here to possible wave one in a leading diagonal, so all of this here, can be counted as a wave one. You can basically compare that with a movement that Ethereum made from $880 to 2020. Here we made it from 40 to well, 67. This is by far not what Ethereum has achieved in percent. Um, and then from this possible wave one, we moved down in a wave A of a larger correction, moved up in an overshooting wave B and we came down in a C due to the FTX issue. Um, and uh, this is an so-called expanded flat pattern here where the C wave did move below the low of the wave A. That is normally what you want to see if you have an overshooting wave B. Yeah, but then we reacted very, very strongly to the 47 US dollar level that seems to be support. So based on this, we could say, yeah, this was a wave one. That's the bullish interpretation here, wave two. And we're now in the third wave. Um, this is, interesting but not highly reliable because the wave one is at best a leading diagonal and these patterns just are not super reliable um, which means they can fail they can easily fail because this movement with all these overlaps can very easily also be just a corrective wave pattern and um, yeah this is some kind of a larger corrective wave that we've got here and will then come down but at the moment we could focus on higher um, even though, again, it's not highly reliable, but because if you zoom out, you can see we're still in this overall range. But the target, if it works out in a wave three, would be the $92 level. So if I say, okay, we had a wave two low here, and we're now next moving up in a third wave. Yeah. Um, in this third wave, let's zoom into the detail here. So in the detail, we would say that, um, again, similar to Ethereum, but it's actually in the short term, it's looking quite good, to be honest. In the short term, it's not looking bad. So in the third wave, obviously we would have five waves and we could say that this here was a wave one. Here we had a wave two. Next, we're gonna move up in a wave three. There will be a four and five to finish off this third wave. We can also add to the chart a so-called base channel and um, breaking this channel will indicate which pattern is going to play out. Yeah, so a move to the downside would not be healthy. You would want the base channel to hold. Um, a bullish breakout to the upside would um, be indicated if we take, if we break out of the channel to the upside, of course. First target for the bulls needs to be to move above the wave one high now, which is here at $64 basically. So getting above that level, but I mean, substantially, yeah, we need to break this level really above this or to be exact, it's $64.50. Need to get above that level and then we could reach the wave three target. I mean, wave three in blue, which is the sub wave, basically the wave three of wave three that could take us to around about $79.55. Um, and there would be a wave four and a wave five. So this is sort of where we are. If we now break down here from the channel, that would not be a good signal. That would not be strong. And especially if we then take out this wave too high at 53.71, that would also reduce the probability of a further move to the upside. But at the very latest, as soon as we go below 47.93, then the bullish case is over, done. And then we have to assume that this move down here is some kind of a larger corrective pattern, which would result in one more low. Um, 
yeah, we would then have to say that the move down here was a wave three. This is still some kind of a fourth wave and we are now heading down in a fifth wave um, where we could get into the region around yeah, $20 or maybe even lower. But for now, as long as we're holding these support levels that I indicated, upside is possible. But um, again, we, we don't have a clear pattern yet. This leading diagonal doesn't really give us a lot of confidence. And anybody who wants a little bit more confidence or assurance could wait until we have all five waves in green complete because this would only be a wave one here then a wave two a wave three in which we might now be but it would be very early days um, then there would be a wave four and a wave five up and then this would all complete a higher degree wave one and this would then result in a wave two dip and this dip could be purchased if you're interested in litecoin i'm not too interested especially not with the let's say limit you know the reliable the pattern which is not too reliable um, there are much better ones, yeah. But um, yeah, that's my update about Litecoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.